Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Monero GUI wallet to the latest version along with your Ledger device. So let's get started. So Monero is a privacy-based cryptocurrency. It keeps your transactions private, safe, and secure. It obscures the sender and receiver in transactions so that they cannot be traced. And one of the best wallets for managing your Monero is the Monero GUI wallet. It can be a little tricky to keep up to date, so I thought I would uh, show you how to go about that so that you can be using the latest version of the wallet. If we go over here to Downloads, scroll down just a bit, you can see that the current version is uh, 0.18.1, Fluorine Fermi. So we want to just double check our wallet and make sure it's up to date. Now, one thing that you need to remember if you're using a Ledger device to secure your wallet, that there are two components you need to be aware of. The software for the wallet that runs on your computer and the app software that runs on the device. So if you're using a Ledger device, you should be using the Monero app on your device. Now this app on this device also needs to stay up to date. And sometimes if you update your GUI software and don't update your app, then you could have issues when uh, accessing your wallet. So uh, let's go ahead and double check our Monero wallet. Now, uh, when you're using a Ledger device, I feel it's best practice to already have your Ledger device connected and be in the Monero app before you launch the software. It just makes things easier, All right? So here it is, it's ready to go. And I'll go ahead and launch my Monero software. All right, so the first thing the wallet is going to do is ask you to open the last wallet that you had open and provide the password. Once you put in the password, it's going to ask you to export the key on your device. So you can just advance over to the accept button and press both buttons. All right, and then uh, it should access your wallet. And once you've exported the public key, you really don't need to look at your device. Uh, until you're ready to send out some uh, Monero. All right, now notice that uh, you have two progress bars down here at the bottom. You've got the uh, daemon that needs to be synchronized, and you've got the wallet that needs to be synchronized. I've recently updated my daemon, so it's pretty close. But uh, if you're running a full node of Monero, you might want to do this every few months or so to keep the wallet updated because it does take quite a while to update to the Monero blockchain. All right, and as you can see, uh, the blockchain updated pretty quick, but it's been a while since I've uh, updated the wallet, so uh, it needs to get itself updated as well. I like to get the wallet fully synced up before I try to do the upgrades, uh, because if the wallet isn't synced, it just adds to the complication. So go ahead, open up your existing wallet, get it updated, and synchronized. All right, so uh, the wallet is now uh, fully synchronized and the daemon is synchronized and I can see my current balance here. So now let's check to see which version of the uh, wallet software we're running. We can find that in settings and then we can go over here to info and then uh, you can see there that the latest, that the version I'm now running is 0.17 0.3-2 or 0.2. If we go back over to the website, you can see that the latest version of the software is higher than that. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is quit the wallet. And I'll go ahead and download the installer. You can download the zip version if you want to. I prefer the installer. I'll just drop this in my downloads folder. All right, and then I'll go over here to the installer and go ahead and double click. Now, the Monero installer is a little tricky to install because most computers treat it as malware uh, because there are a lot of malware uh, programs out there that will install the Monero software on an unsuspecting computer to mine Monero. 
we know what we're doing. We're installing it. So don't get all freaked out when your computer or your, your operating system or your antivirus software objects to the Monero wallet. This is standard. So uh, in this window, I can click more info and tell it to run anyway. And I'll go ahead and run this install. All right, now uh, in the program data folder, there's a folder called BitMonero. Uh, program data is hidden by default, so you wouldn't normally see it, but that is where the blockchain data for the Monero wallet is stored as a default. You can change that if you want to. I'll go ahead and click Next here, and then run the install. All right, I'll go ahead and finish here. Now, if you have never run the Monero wallet before, you might have some issues with your uh, antivirus software. It will object, and it might even delete uh, the Monero app. It might even delete the installer when you download it. So uh, sometimes you'll have to uh, do an end run around your uh, antivirus software. If we go over here to the C drive, in the program files, you can see the, the Monero GUI wallet folder. Right Now, this particular file here, Monero D, that's the daemon. Uh, that's the file that most antivirus uh, objects to. So uh, in order for you to get around this, you might need to whitelist this folder once it gets created. So in my antivirus software, I have to go over here to Setup and Computer Protection. And then uh, you can pull this down and go to exclusions. Every software is a little bit different. But as you can see in my list of exclusions, I have excluded the Monero Wallet GUI and the Monero D file so that it won't be uh, deleted by your antivirus. In my case, I have two. I also have anti-malware protection. So in uh, anti-malware, it's in the allow list. You can see there that I've got the folder excluded so that it doesn't uh, object to the Monero software. All right, so now that we've run our update, let's go ahead and run the software once again. All right, it's asking me to enter the password. Uh, I've got my device here and ready to go. It's connected and waiting for the wallet. All right, I'll go ahead and enter the password and click OK. All right, now I'm having an issue. Actually, this is a very helpful uh, error message. In the past, the error messages were a little bit cryptic. They didn't really give you enough information. But this one is a perfect little message telling me that I need to update the Monero app on my Ledger device. All right, so I can go ahead and quit this out. The Ledger device apps can only be updated using Ledger Live. So I'll go ahead and launch my Ledger Live. And I'm going to go ahead and go out to the home screen of the device. So I'll launch my Ledger Live software. Now notice that the manager has a little dot down here. Uh, the, the manager will alert you when there are updates for firmware or apps that you are running on the device. So if you're not running the Monero app, you won't receive an alert for a Monero app update. But in my case, I do have the Monero app on my device. So let's go over and see what manager wants. I'll click on manager, All right? I need to allow ledger manager on my device and we're in the manager now and it has an update available for an app. Let's uh, pull that down. And lo and behold, it is the Monero app, right? So that's why it's a good idea to always check Ledger Live Manager to make sure all of your apps are up to date. All right? As you know, of course, Ledger Live does not support Monero wallets, right? You can't manage your Monero within Ledger Live. But in order to upgrade apps, you need to use Ledger Live. So let's go ahead and click Update All. Yeah, you'll see processing on your device. You'll see some progress over here. And there we go. Now we're running the latest version of the Monero app. You can look over here. And it tells you that the version you're running is 1.8, which was the same version that uh, 
Monero GUI wallet told us we need to be running. You can also check on your device. If you go into the Monero app, just navigate over uh, past settings to the about and then click both buttons and it will tell you which version of the app that you're running, right? App version 1.8. So we're good to go. I'll go back to the main screen of the Monero app. I'll relaunch the wallet. All right, we'll enter the password and click OK. And it's going to ask me to export that public key. I'll just uh, navigate over to the accept and hit both buttons. You'll notice there that the wallet launched pretty quickly. I didn't have any uh, issues with the update. Like I said, I like to get that uh, wallet, that uh, blockchain update and wallet sync done before. So we don't have that added level of complexity when we uh, double check our version. So as you saw, the wallet opened just fine. It didn't complain when I tried to open up the uh, wallet. And then we can go over here to settings, uh, go to info, and uh, check that we are now running the latest version of the Monero wallet. And we are using our ledger to secure our private key and have that all up to date as well. So that's it. If there are any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.